This is my Micronta transistorized signal tracer. It was manufactured for Radio Shack and it is today's retro review. But first, if you like these product review videos, please subscribe, rate, and comment. If you want to know when I post a new video, click the bell icon up top. Now let's do this. I purchased my machine around 1974 to generate pocket change for high school and to explore the brave new world of digital electronics. The Radio Shack or Micronta transistorized signal tracer was used by me and many other tech personnel to repair amplifiers and radio frequency equipment. The casing was designed of regular off-the-shelf plastic and not that super easy to crack bake-like plastic. That said, bake-like items are a big deal among collectors. The device is analog in design and was powered by one 9-volt battery. Part of the design was a two-inch speaker, which you needed to hear the sound. There's also one knob. It was used to adjust the sound and as the on and off switch. A signal tracer is basically a super sensitive device used to amplify very weak audio signals traveling through a circuit. Let's say your stereo is putting out no sound. Chances are you've blown something in the output section of the final stage of the device, like an integrated circuit or power transistor. I will use the signal tracer to walk through each item in the circuit following the music. Nine out of ten times a transistor or SCR would be dead or near dead. Near dead mean intermittent. If I was working on a stereo, I would compare the signal in both circuits. From this, I would replace the part and try the system again. If it worked, I would run your stereo for several days as though it was mine. Sometimes it would be a power problem. I would use a vote ohm meter to troubleshoot a power circuit. This was usually the case in a tubeless or electronic television. If it was a TV with vacuum tubes, I would first check the tubes. Either way, if the circuit held, I'd call you to pick it up. Remember, I was 14 or 15 years old when I was doing this. Be advised, troubleshooting is a time-consuming process. Troubleshooting takes time. Because I was an audiovisual person or an AV person, I never needed to use the RF site. Let me show you how I would use the device. Clamp the ground. Then let's say that this was the amplifier chip. Go to the output. You go to the input of the chip and you got sound. Then you go to the output you have no sound. That would tell you that this chip was bad. But suppose you had sound through this chip. You went through this side of the diode, this side of this component, and move forward. You would keep moving forward throughout this entire board until you found where the sound went bad. 
from this chip, it could actually end up all the way over here where you find out you got a problem. So how would you know that? You know that because you follow the sleeve that came all the way across down to that which brought you to this chip right there and you know from that chip going that way it will bring you from this side of the circuit all the way out to the edge of the board there you have it a retro review of Radio Shack's Micronta Transistor Fries Signal Tracer if you like these product reviews, please subscribe, rate, and comment. If you want to know when I post a new video, click the bell icon up top. Have a great day, and see you next time.